what is going on guys this is mystic spade and i am doing this little video here as kind of a i guess a clarification aspect of how to get your xml file and your your stream key and everything because a couple of people have actually said they're having problems with that so here's what we're gonna do let me go ahead and close this other stuff out and pretty much what you want to do you want to go to justin tv just real simple and you're gonna be logged in and then you would just want to hit go live more streaming options and then video games console and then you would scroll down and then it's gonna have this section right here where it says going live and then this click here clickable button you're gonna click here naturally and then under the flash media encoder option this is your config file this is your XML file this is what you need to download now here's the downside here because if you're running by the steps that I gave you you're gonna be using flash media encoder 2.5 which you can use 3.0 uh, and use this config uh, XML file side by side it's not gonna be a problem but the this version is a little bit more CPU intensive than the 2.5 which is what I recommend so what you would do you're gonna download this config file which is the the JTV 500k blah 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 right so we're just gonna open it in the folder it's in wow I got a lot of crap over here let's see where to go JTV and then let's close this drag this on the desktop there's two things that you want to look for in this setup before you can actually use it in flash media encoder I'm gonna go ahead and open up flash media encoder just so you guys can see what I'm talking about I don't care if line one's disabled let's go ahead and open in this section right here you have your RTMP and then your stream key okay those are the two things you need to look for so what you're gonna do because this file is not compatible with 2.5 you're just gonna right click on it open with a notepad and it's gonna have all this jargon in it so pretty much you're just gonna scroll over until you see RTMP and stream oh man this takes a little bit here it should be on the output yeah here we go this section right and it's when you try to highlight it it's gonna be kinda of weird see right here where it says RTMP you're just gonna highlight this section and then you're gonna copy it and paste it into the first line here on FLME 2.5 and then for your stream key <coughs> oh, excuse me guys I'm sorry I apologize for that and then your stream key is actually a little bit further to the right it's right here and this one's actually mine so I'm probably gonna have to like blur it out or something but once again it's your stream key will be right here and then you once again like I said you would just copy and paste this into your actual your stream settings right here that's all you would do you would copy and paste it into that that's all you need to do if you're running with a lower version of flash media encoder hopefully that helps this helps all of you out uh, I apologize for not clarifying that in the first video, but there you go. Hopefully that'll help you out a little bit more and let you know what you need to do to get your stuff up and running. This was specifically, man, I can't remember your name, but but it was brought to my attention uh, last night while I was streaming. But definitely, once again, if you guys have any questions or need any help, let me know. And for the person that commented on my other video saying that it was virtual audio cables is 30 bucks, no it's not. It's a two, you get, you can use two cables for free. It's free if, as long as you use two. If you want to use more than two, that's when it costs you. But for the setups that I'm, I showed you how to run, you only need one. Anyways guys, this was Spade. Hopefully this clarified some stuff up for you. Later.